Today I'm going to show you how to do the German short row shaping in my Boho Bobbles shawl pattern. The short rows are made by only knitting part of the row, turning, working to the end, and continuing that, and that creates this diamond shape in the middle of the shawl. So when you first start your shawl, you're going to be starting from one end and working your increase wing increasing your stitches all the way up until you get to just after the last eyelet row. And this is when you'll start your German short rows. Now on my needles here I have about 20 stitches already set on there and you can see already that I've done a few short rows and you can see how there's more fabric down here than up here. So we're creating that extra shape on one side. So when you're working your short rows in this pattern, you're always working the right side row a certain number of stitches that are specified in the pattern, and then you're going to turn and work your double stitch. And it's important to keep in mind that when you're working these short rows, if you're on a row where there's a bobble made, there's going to be one stitch left on your right hand needle after binding off the bobbles that stitch on your right hand needle, that loop is going to count as the first stitch going forward. So just always make sure that you're counting that as one when you're counting your rows. So this is a right side row and we worked a certain number of stitches, whatever is specified in the pattern. And then you're going to get to the end of that number and it's going to tell you to turn your work. So you're going to turn it and just flip it over. The stitches that we did not work are going to remain unworked and you're going to continue with the stitches that we just worked. So to create the double stitch, which is DS in the pattern, you're going to take this first stitch on the left hand needle, make sure that your yarn is in the front of your work, you're going to slip it purlwise with the right needle, and then you're going to pull that yarn over with your left hand, and you will have like two stitches now on your needle. So you're creating like an extra wrap. So I'll show you that again. You slipped it and you're just pulling it up. Give it a little tug so you can see them both. And then you're just going to continue knitting down that row. Now that's as simple as it is. So that is your short row. That's what we call a double stitch. I'll do a couple more just to show you again. And again, in the pattern, you're just going to knit the number of stitches that they specify, that I specify for that specific row. And I believe it's about two stitches before the last double stitch. So now you can see in your work, this here is the double stitch. It has two loops, but they're kind of connected. So that's your last double stitch that you just worked. And then you're going to turn your work Slip that stitch purlwise, pull it over so that you have the two loops, and then go to the end of your row. And you can see how you're getting more and more fabric on this part as you're creating these short rows. I'll show you one more time. And then we're going to turn our work, slip that first stitch purlwise, pull the stitch over, knit to the end. Now once you're done with all of the short rows for the first wing, so in, I'll show you in the pattern, you're basically going to be working short rows all this way like this. Once you get to here, to like the very center point, you're going to knit one row and you're going to incorporate all those double stitches back together again. And then you'll start doing short rows from small to larger. So in order to incorporate those stitches back together, it's very simple. So this row, I'll show you how you incorporate them. You're going to just knit as you normally do. Once you get to a double stitch, like this one right here, you're just going to knit it together those two stitches. And that's as simple as it is. 
So this, that whole row that you work, you're just going to incorporate each double stitch together as you get to it. To the end. And when you get to the center point in the shawl, you're going to have double stitches up the whole side because the first side we work larger to smaller, so you have lots of double stitches. So you're going to basically be incorporating a stitch together every um, two or so stitches. So that's how you'll get that shape. So once you know, once you knit back down for your wrong side row, and when you go to start your double stitches on the other side, you're going to be working the rows backwards. So you're going to start with the smaller amount of stitches, creating a double stitch turning and so on and so forth this way. So when you're doing it this way, you're, only, you're going to run into your double stitch on the following right side row. So we'll create a stitch, we'll, wrap, we'll do our double stitch, we'll turn, and then we're going to knit a little bit farther up. So when we do it on the second side, we're just going to incorporate that stitch and keep knitting. And you count that double stitch as one stitch still. So you're going to incorporate them as you go up and then once you get to the top of this side, you're just going to work this wing basically the same as the first, but you're decreasing instead of increasing all the way down to the end. So I didn't show you how to do it with the bobble edging, but I have a separate video for that. And you can find that link to that in the pattern and it will walk you through how to do these little bobble edge tassels. So I hope that that helps you to have more confidence in doing your short rows, the German style, and I hope that you enjoy the pattern. You can subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos, and if you're interested or have any questions on other specific techniques that I use in my patterns, you can email me or leave me a comment below and let me know and I'd be happy to make another video. Thanks.